Microsoft Application Virtualization provides the ability to deliver virtual applications to users on demand. The components required to stream and launch the applications come in the box at no additional cost. AppV Infrastructure provides enterprise-ready delivery, management, and client capabilities for your virtual applications. The AppV platform is made up of four key components, the sequencer, AppV policy, AppV infrastructure for delivery and management of the virtual applications, and the AppV client. The combination of these components delivers an enterprise-ready virtual application solution that prevents applications from conflicting, reduces application compatibility testing, eliminates reboots, and enables users to pull the application when they need it, rather than IT pushing it to them when they don't want it. Only the first 20 to 40% of the application is required to launch and the user is immediately productive. In this screencast, we'll focus specifically on the AppV client and the user experience when launching a virtual application. Once the application is launched by the end user, it is streamed to the device using Configuration Manager, AppV Full, Lightweight, or Standalone Infrastructure Modes. We'll show the user experience when launching the virtual application XML Notepad on the local device and how it interacts with the local system. First, I'm going to navigate to the location where the XML Notepad icon is located. As the application is loading, you see a notification in the tray on the lower right corner of the screen. This is the AppV client indicating the virtual application is launching. Specifically, the notification says XML Notepad. If desired, the IT administrator could turn off this notification via the AppV client configuration. My application is now loaded. Let's take a look at how it interacts in comparison to a physical application. Let's open sample xml.txt. I want to show you the contents so that you can see it's actually XML. Now, I'm going to close this file and rename it with the XML file extension. Look at the icon now. It used the same icon as the XML Notepad 2007. This is because prior to publishing the virtual application, we created a file type association that tells the system any file ending with .xml should be associated with XML Notepad. Now, right-click the sample xml.xml file and highlight Send To. You see here that one of my options is XML Notepad. This is because prior to publishing the application, we configured it to be added to the Send To menu for the user the virtual application can be easily used in the same manner as a physical application. This is an optional configuration that the IT administrator can enable or disable. I'll go ahead and choose Send to XML Notepad, and you see that the application automatically launches and opens the file just like you would expect. The key here is that the user experience is the same, regardless of the application being virtual. It should not matter if the application is physical or virtual, as long as they can complete their tasks. Let's look at the Start menu. Here, you can see that the XML Notepad shortcut has already been created in the Start menu as well. Similar to physical applications, AppV virtual applications can be placed directly on the Start menu. Using Windows 7, you can also pin virtual applications to the taskbar and the Start menu. The IT administrator can control some of these settings at sequencing or publishing time, and others via the client configuration. Let's take a look at some of the client configuration options by running the AppV Client Management Console, sftcmc.msc. I'll select the Application node and right-click to show the properties. The General tab is where the Global Data Directory and the User Data Directory are configured. This determines where individual user-specific configurations and preferences are stored versus those shared among all users of the application. Now I'll choose the Interface tab. This is where we can hide the notification that tells the user that the AppV application is loading. I do this by first changing the setting to Do Not Show the AppVert Client, and then changing the Information Message Display Time to zero. And then I click Apply, and then OK. I launch XML Notepad again, and there is no longer a notification. Now it looks and feels just like a physical application. I'll select the Application node, and right-click to show the properties. Now I'll choose the Permissions tab, and this is where permissions are configured for the clients across the enterprise using the AppV Client ADM template. 
Last, we'll look at the Connectivity tab. This is where the IT administrator configures whether or not the user can use applications when they are not connected to the network, and how long they are able to use applications while not connected or without having checked for policy updates. Offline mode will not attempt to connect to the server for policy updates or for streaming, so the application needs to be fully loaded into the cache. Offline mode needs to be enabled for all standalone scenarios, including SCCM, DVD, or USB. The AppV client provides the IT administrator with many flexible configuration options, depending on their enterprise business requirements. In this screencast, we reviewed the user experience when launching an application. We looked at how applying configuration at package time, such as send to and fault up associations, get applied at the desktop. We also walked through how to remove the AppV notification when an application launches and other client configurations. Most importantly, we showed that AppV provides a seamless user experience while leveraging the power of virtualization to avoid application conflicts and installation.